don't know about you guys, but I am absolutely in love with the warmer weather. I'm so excited that summer's around the corner and I feel like this is a really great time of year to just do a little upgrade to kind of check in with where you're at, set some goals for the next few weeks heading into summer and just really kind of cleaning up your space, your energy and our lives, so to say. So first thing I do every morning is I get fresh air. I get some sunlight, get some vitamin D, and I put my bare feet in the earth. This is scientifically proven to decrease depression, decrease anxiety, resets your circadian rhythm so it helps you fall asleep earlier and sleep better, wake up earlier, all that good stuff. So I start my day with some grounding, I clean up the house a little bit, kind of turn the house on, if you will, and then I jump right into my morning routine. I love, love, love doing the dishes first thing after waking up. I don't know what it is. It just signals to my brain that the day is starting and that we're starting with a fresh, clean slate and there's no mess to kind of clutter up my mind and space, which is really, really therapeutic. So then I'll make my hot water with lemon. I've been adding honey and cayenne pepper to my hot water with lemon. It's so refreshing in the morning. Great little morning cocktail. I will fill my Stanley and get ready to jump into my morning routine. I'll make my husband's coffee because I'm a great wife. <laughs> and then I will immediately take myself outside. This is one of my favorite, favorite things, probably my most favorite part of warmer weather and spring and summer. And that's the warmer weather. And that is just being able to do my routines outside to just set my intentions outside, do some journaling, do some meditating, work out in fresh air. There's something so therapeutic about it. And it really helps me with my mental health, with my physical health, and I love it. So I know not everyone has super warm weather at this time of year, it's April as I'm recording this, but any part of your day where you can take your routine outside is going to make a positive impact in your day. So I'm just doing some mindfulness here, and then I jump right into journaling, where I'm kind of changing it up every day. Sometimes I'm following journal prompts, sometimes I'm writing affirmations. It's different on a daily basis, but I love this. I just got a new cute journal from Target, super inspired, super excited to use it, and then I end my mindfulness practice with some puppy cuddles. Now I don't do a little vacuuming every day, but today the house is just feeling a little bit dirty, so I cleaned up my space a little bit more, put on my sneakers, and decided to do a little walk for my warm up before I started working out. Now here you can see that I'm on my phone, and this is really the first time that I've been on my phone that morning. I do not look at TikTok, I do not go on Instagram in bed, <laughs> I don't wake up and sit there scrolling for a minute, I think that is detrimental to your mental and physical health. So the first time I'm looking at my phone is really probably 30 or 40 minutes after waking up. So I'll do a little walk, warm up my body. I love getting steps in first thing in the morning. And then I jump right into a little stretching. Now, some mornings I'm following a yoga video. Sometimes I'm just going off of what feels good for my body. This morning in particular, I was just moving with what felt good. And I was just enjoying the birds chirping and letting sun pour all over my skin. And it just felt so refreshing and it felt so like good for the soul it just felt good for the soul to be outside so i'm just giving you permission to not feel like you have to follow a routine super strictly or follow a yoga program or a workout program like listen to your body and let your body tell you what it needs i am about three weeks out from or three weeks post surgery and my body's still very sore, very tender, very <laughs> sluggish, if you will. So I'm moving really slow in this morning movement and it felt really good. Then I jumped right into my workout. So again, I am taking it really easy post-surgery and really just listening to what my body's telling me. So I'm doing a mixture of weightlifting, resistance training, and plyometrics. I'm not really jumping into the plyometrics just yet, but I've found that that's the best combination of movement for my body particularly me um, might be different for you but this is what makes me feel really good is a combination of weights and resistance bands and doing total body workouts along with getting my steps in doing some core work um, and really just like slowing down in my movement I've been in a really big shift in my health and wellness and fitness journey over the last year or so and I'm finding joy in moving slower and moving more intentionally and not lifting as heavy as I can every single morning, but more so using that time to just connect to myself and focus on how I want to feel that day. I want to feel strong and empowered and confident. So for me, this workout felt really, really good. And one thing I'm also working on right now is deeper core work. 
So I'm doing some ab moves here. This helps with back pain. It helps with posture. Um, it all feels really, really good. So I will do my workout outside, just really take this time to connect to my body. Again, just move according to what my body's telling me it needs that day. And after this, I get right into my shower. <laughs> so you'll see that in a second, but I pretty much jump in the shower right after my workout get myself clean and organized and ready for the day. And that is another part of my morning routine that I love. It's getting ready and taking pride in my space and, you know, just again, setting the energy for my day. So this is how I start my mornings and <laughs> getting myself cute, pouring into my own cup and then starting my work day. So I love you guys. You're going to see the next part of the video and hear from me in just a second, but, um, yeah, thanks for being here. Workout is done. I went ahead and got ready, took a little shower, put on some makeup, put on not like a cute little outfit, but comfy, cozy, cute clothes because that's how I work best. So we are going to make a little bagel, make some breakfast, and then get started with work. I haven't had any coffee yet today and it's a few hours into the day now. So I'm gonna make a coffee, have my bagel, and get to the day. This is the bagel brand that I've been loving. They make other breads, it's called Dave's Killer Bread, and I actually use the cinnamon raisin flavor. This is the blueberry, but they have 11 grams of protein in one bagel and no high fructose corn syrup. It says 48 grams of carbs, three grams of fiber, nine sugar, and 11 proteins. So I am gonna fuel up on a bagel with some oranges, a coffee, and then get to work. These are the little sweeteners that I've been using to put in my coffee and I've been loving them. I got them on Amazon. I'll link them down in the description box below, but they are stevia drops. So this one is in the vanilla cream flavor and then this one is in English toffee and this is the coffee pot that we use. It's the Breville Barista Express and it makes the world's best cup of coffee. And these are the beans that we've been using. They're called like Lavazza Super Crema. Also this little pig clip so cute but i'm gonna make a delicious little almond milk latte another thing that i'm really loving this time of year is really romanticizing making my food and drinks at home my husband and i used to go out for coffee like every other day and number one it was just getting to be so expensive but two it's healthier it's so much more satisfying making your coffee at home so i'm really diving into like my cute little coffees and making it aesthetic and just making it a routine that I'm excited to show up for and I swear I like my coffee now better than I do when I get it from Starbucks so I'll bring my bagel my coffee my water upstairs to my office I turn on my little Christmas lights my salt lamp and again I just set the tone and set the space and set the energy for the day I absolutely love working for my little office. Here I'm editing videos, making content, checking in with my clients, working on my YouTube channel, building my business, and just really setting some goals and intentions for myself. And that is my little morning routine. If you are someone who has been looking up morning routines and you're seeing people on TikTok and Pinterest and Instagram and YouTube, and you're seeing this super aesthetic, three hour long, you know, 25 step morning routine and you're feeling more intimidated than you are excited to start, I want you to hear me when I say that you do not need to compare yourself to what everyone else is doing and put this pressure on yourself. Everyone that you see online is in these beautiful mansions and they have these super aesthetic white kitchens with white countertops and white cabinets. And sometimes it can feel like our lives aren't as special as the people that we might compare ourselves to online. I know I feel that way sometimes and I have to stop and remind myself that your morning routine routine is not about the vibe, it's not about the look, it's not about the aesthetic, it's about you taking care of yourself. Don't look at this video and feel overwhelmed like, I have to do everything that Courtney did or I have to set aside an hour or an hour and a half. If you only have 30 minutes to yourself in the morning, if you only have five minutes to yourself in the morning, you can do something positive and productive for yourself that day. Take just a few minutes in the morning to pour into your own cup. And the second that you start giving yourself permission to take care of yourself and to put yourself first, your whole life is gonna change. And I think one thing that really helped me, this like mindset shift has really changed a lot for me and my clients. And that mindset shift is that taking care of yourself, putting yourself first, prioritizing your wellness and your well-being over everything else, it's not selfish, it is selfless. 
you are only going to be the best mom, the best wife, the best daughter, the best sister, friend, human, employee, boss. You're only going to be the best version of yourself once you have poured into yourself. Just remind yourself that it doesn't have to be super aesthetic. It doesn't have to be super long. It doesn't have to be super elaborate, but do something in the morning for you. Guarantee if you start putting yourself first in the morning and you start honoring that time for you consistently, don't just try and do a morning routine for a week or two weeks or two days. Do it consistently for a month and notice how your energy changes. Notice how your mindset changes, how your body changes, how your perspective and the way that you speak changes, how your relationships change. You are overflowing from a full cup right? It's like if you literally took this coffee cup and we kept pouring and pouring and pouring and pouring and this is your little soul. It's like your little meter inside is going and then it's going to overflow. That overflow gets to be what everyone else has, but you have to put yourself first. You have to honor your health, your wellness, your mind, body, and soul over everything else. And that's when you're going to be the best version of yourself. So I want to know, what are you implementing from this video? What are you adding to your morning routine or maybe taking away from your morning routine? What are you shifting first thing in the morning so you can make time to pour into yourself because you deserve it. I deserve it. You deserve it. We deserve it. So I love you guys so much. Thank Thank you for being here. I love spending the morning with you. If you love this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for new videos every Sunday and Thursday. And yeah, that's all I've got for today. I say that in all of my videos. I need to come up with something different to say. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.